welcome to my channel. So, today we're going to do my empties for June. Now, I'm kind of doing this early because, again, you guys know I only do this on the weekends and everything. And so, yeah. So, everything I'm going to be talking about and all that, I have pretty much the same products, but a little bit different. I have hair care, skin care, house stuff, make some makeup and all of that. I do have some declutter, so I'll save that towards the end, just in case you guys want to know. I am wait a tank top, so don't mind me. Um, yeah, so. You see, I am in a tie. It's nice and hot. Everything on my face will be down below in the description box, linked and everything. And I just want to say that, first of all, whoever is liking my Instagram, go to there. I have some stuff that I've been posting. I did a first short video on YouTube, so make sure you check that out. I had a lot of views. What I did, pretty much I just showed my favorite drink of all time, which is Coke Zero. Holy Grail, love it, cannot live without it. Um, so yeah, if you guys hear noise in the background, it is my fan. Again, it is that time of the year, so yeah, I have to have the fan on because if I don't, I would be swaying my butt. So yeah, if you guys, so everything in our face will be down below the description box, make sure you check that out. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I have so many viewers. Um, I am grateful, thankful who is following me on Instagram. I, my Instagram is blowing up. I am shocked and thankful at the same time and grateful that you guys are interested on me not only on YouTube but on Instagram. So make sure you check all that out, everything. But let's go again to it. I'm going to go again to candles. I finally burned off my last candles that I got from my Bath and Buy Work haul a while back. Um, I'll probably link that above if anyone did not see it. Even though I had a lot of views and a lot of people saw it, a lot of people liked it. So I'm excited for that. But let's go ahead and get that out of the way. The first one is the Tropical Island Coconut. I love this was actually a good summer smell it smelled really good it actually burned down to like here which has been the lowest that I've ever saw a Bath & Bywork candle I love the Bath & Bywork candle they have so much scents I love the Bry wash I love their hand soap that I got I mean I'm working on the hand soap still I have one in the bathroom one in the kitchen I love the hand soaps that I got. I love the Bosch. I mean, they have great, amazing stuff. And this smells so much like a tropical island. Like, you literally go to an island and you have like coconut and on the beach and everything. It is beautiful. So, yeah. But I'm actually shocked how low this actually burned. I'm grateful, but shocked at the same time. Put this stuff somewhere else. I have to clean up my desk. So, don't mind me. The next one is I did do the small candle. This one I only do like. Again, it burned quite a bit. This is the one can wick candle. This is cinnamon and spiced vanilla. And, ooh, it smells like cinnamon bun. It's truly. Like, if you ever get the cinnamon buns on uh, the ones with Pillsbury, same exact smell. I'm definitely going to get that. I'm probably going to get a lot of these. Connection I'm going to do even maybe a bit bigger back to buy a haul I get my tax money. So watch out for that. Or if I get any extra money. I'm supposed to get paid soon. Like three times in a certain month. So that might be my time where I um, do a little shopping spray. Uh, you know. And all that. Because I've been wanting to try out some new makeup and all of that. And get back into that zone. I haven't tried on any new makeup for a while. There's been so much new makeup from Sephora, Ultra, the store, the drug stores, brands, and all of that. So, I need to get back on that wagon and get back on trying that out. It may take a little bit of time, but I'm going to get back on it. 
And then of course, my ultimate favorite one besides the Bath of Iron Works is the Natural Wick Coconut Sephora. I bought so many of these. I love the wick candle. This is one thing I love for at nighttime when I'm laying down relaxing because that crackling sound. Like I said before, it does sound like you had a fireplace. Like you ever got a fireplace and just sit down, mellow out with a little cup of over you, drink coffee or tea and relaxing. That's what this sounds like and it smells delicious. You can see, I mean coconut. Um, that sweet scent smell. My husband on the other hand, fortunately, is allergic to it. Um, got another one, another single one. This is lavender, vanilla. Again, lavender and vanilla and all that. Besides, the coconut, one of my favorite scents. Smell good. It's okay. It's strong. I probably wouldn't be brushing this one because how strong it is and everything. But more or less, that one I probably would do. Last candle, which this one I just had to get rid of. I had to burn when I first smelled this. And next time I do this, I'm going to actually get back to my works for I even decide to go on online to order this. Because this right here, um, coconut sandalwood, ooh, oh, oh, it smells strong. Like, no, like literally you do not smell coconut with this at all I mean this is what it looks like it's pretty I love the container but the smell is the most strong I'm not a big musky sandalwood type girl <laughs> I like sweet I like fruity I like those type of scents anything with sandalwood and that, if that's the only thing I smell is the sandalwood and no, like, no coconut, like, I didn't smell coconut whatsoever, then hmm, this is one candle I definitely would not be getting next year. I would not even be precious. I'm just, if anyone loves that musky sandalwood smell, I mean, get the coconut sandalwood. You will love it, but... For me, it's a no-go. Now, go, go. Okay, let's go ahead and get into... Well, since I have very few makeup, let's go ahead and get into this makeup related stuff. A lot of it is also body can and all that. So, of course, I went through the Ofra cleansing and all. This came actually in a um, mystery or gift box that Sephora did. I mean, not Sephora, sorry. Ofra. Ofra. Did. It came with a wipe, hair sanitizer, a blush, lip products. I think that's about it, but yeah. It was okay. It did a good job taking on makeup. It was swatches and all that, but. Again, not my holy grail. It was very moist, but it was okay. But of course, I went through my Vino Ultra Calm. You guys know I love to take off makeup when I'm tired, which is now a lot. <laughs> Actually, I started to have dark uh, circle eyes. Like, my eyes are starting to get darkened, which is not good because how much sleep I am getting lack of from working and all that and doing this on my days off. So anyways, if I'm like tired and don't feel like using my whole cleansing, I feel like not using a cleansing balm, which I do a lot of times when I do put on makeup because I feel like that does take off my makeup completely off. And I don't have to use several of these. These I have to use constantly, like three, four of them. So I try to use mainly for swatches when I swatch up my hand. Uh, when I'm testing something, some makeup out. I, once in a while, when I'm lazy, tired, and don't feel like using cleansing balm, I'll use this. But this is the only makeup wipe that does not irritate my skin. Like I said, I've used this for the longest time ever. I've bought so many of them because of that reason. Because anytime I try any other makeup wipe, it just messes my skin up. And I feel like that it's going to irritate me or uh, it reacts towards it or uh, they're really drying, uh, you know, things like that. So, 
optical the only one that I've noticed that done a lot. Finally went through I said eyeshadow primer. This is the ABH primer. I got this like in a sample size a while back. Not that long ago, but no a while back. And I actually like it. I like this as much as I like the Milani one. Probably Milani is a lot cheaper and yeah. But if I had to choose and if I had if I had enough money, I actually would repurchase this. This actually kept my eyeshadow on for the longest time. It didn't crease, it did smudge. It was a beautiful, you know, it blend beautifully on it just like the Milani one. So I really do like this and if I had the money and didn't have no eyeshadow primer, then I probably would repurchase this. But again, mostly I would do my Milani one because that's really good. That always been my only growl and it's a drugstore and it's a lot cheaper than that one. <laughs> but I did like that one so don't get wrong. Okay, finally finish up the Fix It Matte Setting Spray. This is like a travel size for Koki. I like this. I feel like that again. It did make my makeup stay off for a long time. Maybe for maybe a few hours. But didn't really compare to like the Urban Decay, uh, my Makeup Milani, or uh, my, um, or uh, the, um, Pore Special bear one the blue bottle this was more like it set well but it didn't set for a long time and a few hours I literally had my oil start to come through and everything and even though it's supposed to be a matte setting spray it really didn't have like that matte property so I like Koki I maybe tried maybe one or two other products from them from through subscription boxes but um I wouldn't mice necessarily purchase on its own with my own money. So next is like skincare and all of that. I went through skincare. Okay, this one by Grace Stella who I said I really like this one. This is really good. I went through this fast. It was the fastest one I ever went through when it came to syrup and all that. Right now, I'm doing the Pharmacy Honeydew, the nighttime one. For nighttime, I use it for nighttime. And it made my skin feel like it actually balanced my oils out. I feel like that my oils didn't come out as fast as much as it usually does. And it just felt like that this was like plumping up my skin and make it look more smoother, more fine, more fresh, more less oily and all of that. I really do like it. It was a nice li liquid serum. It wasn't heavy at all on my skin. It felt really nice. It didn't break me out. It didn't make my skin go red. Anything like that. And this actually got through, um, what is it, Ipsy? So, um, Grace and Stellar. So, if probably if I ran out of this, and this is good for like the hydration, and I thought, okay, maybe it'd be a little too hydrated for me, but no, it was the perfect balance when it came to my skin. And I'm like, if I had, enough, if I had, had no more sores, probably would buy that again. Finally went through my proactive, one of my proactive toners. This is something that I use during the summer to help with my oils. I use this in the morning, nighttime. And then the one I use is this one by e.l.f. The balancing one. But this is really good for anyone that got like acne prone skin or anyone that has oils come through. It does take away the oils, but you have to be careful that you only use it maybe once a day I mean it does say use it morning and nighttime I've done that before when I first got this because I had been on proactive when I was younger because of my mom she actually ordered some and because of that time I realized I started to have only acne sensitive prone to my skin that's when it started so when this when I used it, it had three steps you have the cleanser you have the toner and you have the um, moisturizer I don't use the cleanser. I only use the toner. And it was great when I was younger. It really did help my acne go away. It helped me produce less and less oils. 
the older I got, I feel like that, I guess the older I got and the more mature my skin got and how much it changed, it's still oily, it's still acne prone. But I couldn't use all three steps. Because I feel like that, especially during winter, I wouldn't use this during the winter or the cold season because it would literally dry your skin out. It has um, like alcohol in it and all that. But it's drying your skin out to a point where I would produce more oils than I should. I wouldn't produce natural oils. I was like overproducing. That's when I started looking at skincare and started losing, hey, with oils, you have to keep the balance. You can't use products like this all the time. So that reason why I kind of do this for nighttime and use a different one for in the morning when I put on my morning afternoon skincare. Because if I use this morning and nighttime, my skin is going to be way too dry and it's going to produce way too much oils and I'm going to have to balance and fight to get that. Yeah. So, um, this I used every night. I did put a moisturizer on it. Now I keep that balance and that way my face will be so much moisturized it won't be completely dry. But I do like it. But I only like it during the summer again when I get acne the most. Other than that, I use other stuff. I use more hydration type ones to make sure my skin stays hydrated, but not too hydrated. So, I like it. I have another bottle I'm working through. And I think for then, after that, I probably wouldn't purchase any more. I probably wouldn't buy any more. Unless I desperately need it. I desperately need something to help with my acne and it's getting out of control. Then I would buy it. I would buy the set. But, um... I can't do all three of them. I see a one or the other and it just, yeah. Another song that I did was to piece out. This actually like, this again was like the um, proactive. It did, it does have solid of acid and all that with niacinamide and zinc. This only used when I had pimples. When I feel like a pimple is coming or I saw a pimple, then I would use this at nighttime instead of the um, hydrating one, instead of the other one that I got unused. I would go back and forth between these two because this actually did help with my um, acne and it did break it down, it did make it less. So, yeah, I really did like it. I would buy another one just for that reason and just for that time. But again, I wouldn't use it all the time because of guess again it could dry out my skin and I don't want to be too dry. I'm very cautious when it comes to my skin and what type of stuff I use, what kind of syrup, moisturizer, um, toners and all that because I don't want to use it so much and come to a point where I got to fight the balance and got to get back to where my balance was and got to figure out what caused it, what tricked it, what made it go, made my skin go over oily. So, yeah, I realized that things like this, I only use, again, only for that time. And that time is usually around the time I started my womanhood. That's when I noticed I get the pimples. That's when I noticed that my hormones are acting up. So, things like this, I will use around that time. Other than that, I use a stuff that either balance my skin or keep it hydrated enough to where it's not producing so much oils. So I really do like it. I really want to push it. Okay, I think we have one more. Oh well, one more. This by care. Yeah. This is the Dud Exfoliate Balling Polish. I use this like once a week or maybe twice a week. I love this. I purchased before my favorite body scrub of all time. Right now I'm using the Beloved one. I'm trying the Tree Hunt one. I know everybody loves the Tree Hunt, Tree Hunt body scrub, but for me, it's just too rush rough and too hard on my skin. I feel like that anytime I do this on my legs or whatever, it kind of stinks. So, I'm realizing that I like something like this 
actually got the little beads in it. That does exfoliate and my skin will really soft and smooth afterwards. Better than a harsh type one. So even though I like Trinhead, I understand why it's popular. I understand that people who really want to get that deep, hard, tough scrub love to use it. But for me, it's sensitive skin again and don't like that really harsh scrub. I like stuff like this. So I will buy this again once I want out of it because I want to get through the beloved one. I want to try beloved one when I take a shower again. And then I will be doing finish I'll be training that one and the tree hunt because I really do want to finish the tree hunt and I don't want to waste it. I mean it smells good and I it was not that expensive, but I really don't want to waste my money, so I'll definitely get this when I went out of that and everything. Okay, definitely. Okay, so one more thing. I finished the Apple Blissom Apple Summit. You guys saw this before. I've used this in my past empties because I always got like a four or five pack of these. I always use this. My mom was the one who got me started on this. Every time she got paid, she would buy those packs and she would put it in like every room. The bedroom, the front room, the kit well, not the kitchen, but like rooms like that that you know can smell, uh, can get smelly. Especially when you live with a husband and three boys and know how they act and know how they could be sometimes. So this is really good. This is one of my favorite smells. It smells amazing. I love it. It's pretty much like this. You just move it up like this in a whole bunch but this is pretty much almost out anyway so yeah I have another one in the um, closet in the front room that works so yeah but that is all of my empties for um, June I'm going to quickly go over my um, declutter stuff that I'm going to get rid of mainly because they are old and they don't have the same texture um, I'm going to get with the banana souffle moist. This is looking like jelly. Like the texture is really watery, really jelly. And before it looked like whipped cream and that like souffle top pinks. I had this for a while. I used about half of it. But now it's time to go. It was one of my favorite moisturizers I used at nighttime before I moved on to a different one. But yeah, I really like it. I, the smell was good. Even the smell is somewhat off. So yeah, it just not the same as it was. And it sucks because I really didn't like it. I used it all the time. So um, I'm going to wear a couple of foundations because again, they were bad. These are the CoverGirl Outlast. I've used quite a bit of them. I did use some, but they're kind of like watery in a way. And the expiration date is June of this year. So since we're in June, I won't be using these. Because even if I was waiting until like the end of June, I still wouldn't be using So I'm going to declutter that. I'm declaring my NATO one because this actually expired this month also and I really didn't like it. I really do like NATO. I like their deodorants and all that. So it was kind of cool having this. It just was mainly like a white cast but feel like the texture just don't feel right and so I'm like nope I get rid of that one the other ones I'm getting rid of because I just don't like plain and simple this one is the Christopher Robin scrub Levi Purify it's, the thing about this is that this is supposed to be like a hair scrub type thing and what you do is that you put a teaspoon of white hair rinse it, massage your whole scalp, and use some water to optimize all that. But that's it. And then it says use a linkner, some other detangler 
to help with the tangles, which I used my um, dry bar tangler, which you guys know I love and all that. I didn't like it. It was a weird, weird texture. It, it was really weird. It looked like this, and I don't use stuff like this. When it comes to washing my hair, I actually use a hair wash, like a shampoo, conditioner, you know. Sometimes I'll use a mask afterwards. But usually something like this, and it's supposed to like help the scalp and all that, it just felt it didn't feel like it really cleaned my hair. I feel like that when I wash this out, it felt really dry. Like, really dry. So, I don't like anything like this. It's just not good. The other ones, I'm just declining because, number one, the shades don't work. And number two, I just don't like them. Like, the Bare Mineral Original, I'm going to go that way. This one is way too dark. This is in White Pole T3. And it may look like it's going to work for me, but it got a major pink tone under it. I have another one, but it's more like neutral, and I could work with that better. So, yeah, that is all of my empties in the cleaner for a month of June. Hope you guys like it all that. Like I said before, as you have my face will be down below in the description box, linked in everything, and... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up and everything. And again, I do appreciate everyone who's coming back, watching my videos, anyone who's doing, who, who's subscribing <clears throat> to my Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to that too. Instagram, my Instagram link will be down below too, just in case you might want to do that. And subscribe there, because I do sometimes post there. It's once in a while when I have time and all that, but... I want to get more into it and more into doing short videos. That was awesome. Um, and everything. So, check all that stuff out. And don't forget to do everything and all that. And I'll see you next time. And bye, we're Hope you have a lovely day and night wherever you guys are. And I do upload on the weekend. So, don't forget to put no push your belt down there also, too. Bye.